Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am back with another video of ticket conversation. So last day on my video I have uh, told you to try yourself uh, with the business rule and I have given you the hint and today I will be showing you how uh, the update will happen in the audit history of the field which we have created for the ticket conversation. So here we go with the business rule. First of all, it will be the before insert or update because uh, I want the uh, history, chat history to update whenever we are updating. So before we are updating any field, we will capture it in the array and we will push it in the uh, journal input field. So let's give it a name as update ticket conversation field okay uh, now uh, I will do it advanced because and before and insert and update okay so any idea what we will write so basically we will first take all the field names and all the field values in which uh, the user is updating or while inserting the record so there is an out of the box uh, function which is there in service now from where we can get all the database field and the values which you are changing so let's write where uh, let's take it uh, f variable gru equals to glide script record util dot get current okay this is the function where we will get all the this is the function uh, actually uh, which is there in the service now to get all the fields and values of this current uh, table record so now we will take one changed db field field equals to gru dot gate changed field names okay i will now next uh, variable i'll take to the values which is getting changed is equals to gru dot get changes okay next i will take as changed fields it's uh, it's just a uh, field uh, which will get changes to a nickname type dot get changed fields okay uh, now the thing is I'll just change this into the JavaScript array so I'll just put a comment as convert to JavaScript array now here what I will do I will first use gs dot include and in this I will write j to js uh, now what I will do is I will take this change db field equals to j to js and the same name it will just convert this is also out of the box thing this is equals to j to js this changed field equals to j to js this okay now we will write one for loop okay uh, for loop because the number of fields you are changing it will take all it in the uh, length means changed values dot length because the number of values it is getting changed 
so it will take that and it will push it in the array accordingly so uh, first I will take current value as the object and I will take one previous value object uh, previous value variable and I have left I didn't write the array initialized sorry uh, I will initialize it here the array so current value and previous value I have written now uh, if current dot operation equals to equals to insert okay then we will just give the current value equals to glide evaluator dot evaluate string and inside I will write current dot the field name change db field at i plus dot get display value okay so this uh, will be pushed to the array uh, dot push give the backslash n first in the next line it will change everything according to the change fields I will take now you will understand the purpose of change fields actually why I, I have taken try two uh, field names with colon plus current value the value which have changed to this okay understood I hope you guys are getting everything what I am writing here over here it's basically uh, current value current field uh, value I am taking and I am pushing it into the array now else if it is not insert if it is update then what I will do I will take the previous value equals to same glide evaluator dot evaluate string uh, I will just copy this okay over here I will write previous okay uh, change db field at i not get this display value now if previous value is empty then we will put it as empty okay if now uh, current value I will give the same and if current value is also empty then we will make it as current value equals to empty so basically why I am doing this is uh, because for sometimes if we are changing the value from blank to something so the uh, previous the current value was blank so it will give us empty to that so uh, that uh, particular uh, statement I will push it in the array array val sorry array val dot push and the statement goes like in the new line with the changed field at i plus colon plus 
we will take the field first previous value we will give now again i will give space as then changed to and then i will give the current value means previous value changed to current value okay now if the current value is empty and previous value you have given something then it will uh, write as this field have changed from this changed to empty because i am uh, mentioning it here empty now after all these loop has happened i will push this i will update that into my field which i have created you audit history equals to array val dot to string okay now i will just submit this okay so previously i have showed you how uh, it was not getting updated uh, because although we were updating it in the back end but it was not uh, reflecting in the portal and we were updating it here as well but it was not getting uh, visible so let's try once again uh, first i will just write ss here so that and if i save so now if you see user this changed to this which i have given it previously so uh if i do it in the admin okay because previously i have given systems the same example which i have given earlier and it was not reflecting in my portal so I'll just give it administrators and i will just save okay and now when i will go in the form and i have given the filter here actually i have enabled that sorry sys id is i will give it this is id here and i will run let's open and here we go null change to systems administrators last null change to administrators so uh, basically why two are coming because i have changed in the last name and the name also there is a, a background script where uh, background uh, business business rule which just update the name as well which is not visible here but the name is uh, there in the form if you want you can bring it in the form layout so uh, now if you just inactive this one nothing will work i'll just uh, show you i have inactivated this let's just change in the form and see whether it is getting updated or not uh, let's make this admin as admins and i will save it and if i go if you see it didn't get updated here okay so this is uh, what business rule was about and i'll revert this back so i'll just uh, make this active first so i'll just remove this s 
and I'll save it now. So yeah, here we'll go. Uh, here we go with the business rule. Thank you guys for watching. Now in the in my next video, I will show you there will be one button on clicking of which this activity will be visible and this form will come. So thank you. Thanks for watching.